Hello friends, my name is Shashank and welcome back to my channel Corporate Guy and today in this video we are going to talk about that how to use Excel and combine the power of chat GPT to unleash a new possibilities in automating your daily tasks. Right, so this is a very simple sheet where you can see we have a task manager sheet where you have simple columns like task name, task description, due date, status, priority, assigned to and assigned to email ID, right? So this is a simple task, uh, task sheet where you can just write down the tasks and then assign them to your teammates, right? And then you can track the progress on the right side that how many tasks are due uh, today, tomorrow and in the uh, coming six days, right? And then you can track the progress of all of your team members that how many tasks they have been assigned and what is the uh, current completion status. But what is most important about this video is that we are going to uh, combine the power of chat GPT, VBA and Excel to automate a very simple task which will really help you to you know uh, save some time and then you know look cool among your teammates right. So when, we, when people hear about VBA the first thing comes to mind that I don't know VBA how to write it. Earlier uh, you would have gone to the you know website search about VB codes and then pick VB codes from here and there and then start writing the VB codes and combining them to write a VB code but with the chat GPT it's very simple. Let me just show you a very simple automation. So this is a task name I'm going to ask one and let's say it's a description and then I'm going to give a due date let's say it's uh, due on 8th uh, October and then the status is simply you know uh, not started and the priority is uh, high right and then it is assigned to one of the teammates uh, called uh, guy so now the moment I pick the name email ID will be taken from the VLOOKUP function right so what is important is that when I click on the assigned task it is going to open outlook and send email to that person to whom this task has been assigned right so just let's see how this works so the moment I click assign task it is going to open the outlook and then it will display the mail body and then you can say if you want to make some changes or add something into it then you can just hit the send button and then the mail will be sent to that person so this is a very simple automation you can see it has picked up the uh, teammates name right uh, the task name task description the due date and the priority and even if you want to add signatures you can just add signatures in the uh, mail body as well right and when you hit the send button it will send the email to that person right so this is a one simple thing which we have done here but how do we do that let's understand with the chat gpt so the objective of this video is to just understand that we have we are going to give instruction to the chat gpt in a very step by step uh, form the objective is to go to the last row of the task sheet which you can see that if I add one more task the objective is of the VBA code to find out which one is the latest task and then pick the details from the row of that last row then open the outlook and then send email to that person taking email ID from the assigned to email column right and then show error if there is no email id or if the email id is not uh, you know valid then it is going to throw an error which means that it won't send email then you can just make changes and do whatever you want to do right and then finally assign that vb code to a button so that when you press the button it will send email or open outlook to send email right so this is the objective of this uh, video and this is and these are the instructions which we are going to give to the chat GPT right so uh, press ok and then let's see how to do that so for that I have already written the prompt which I have given to the chat GPT to get the VBA code so I will just copy this prompt and then I will explain that what is happening here right so this is my chat GPT screen and I'm going to paste that prompt here right so let's see I have an excel sheet so you have to be very specific when you want chat gpt to write a code where, where you don't have to make any changes right so i have an excel sheet which is task manager and i want to create a vba code that opens outlook with an email for the last added row in the sheet that is important that you want the latest task to be picked from the excel sheet and then i would like to trigger the action by clicking a button in excel right so this is again important the email to whom you want to send should be taken from the assigned to email column of the last added row and show error if the assigned to email column doesn't contain valid email address could you please help me achieve this 
right? And then you can give more instructions whether uh, like uh, my column header start from the A8. Let's say if I go back to the sheet and you see that my column header start from the A8 and then below that I have the tasks, right? And then the my column names are task name, task description, due date, status, priority assigned to and assigned to email. I want to compose email body. This is again important that what do you want to write in that email body? Then it will uh, you know compose email body accordingly. So I want to compose email body which should have the structure, right? Hi and assigned to name, right? It will take the name from the individual from the assigned to column and then you have been assigned a new task and below are the details like task name, task de description, due date, priority and then I want to add one more trick and end the sorry email with my signature uh, corporate guy right so this is a prompt and let's hit send so when you hit send, it is going to design a VBA code for you and step-by-step -step instructions which you can follow. And if you want to make any changes, you can do that as well if you have a little bit of understanding of the VBA. And then just simply copy the code and paste it in a VBA in Excel developer tab. So copy the code, that's it. Because we have given the instruction to be to precisely what we wanted to achieve right so even if you want to understand you can just again ask chat gpt to please break down the code for me and explain me how to how can i write the same code if i am a beginner right so you see it has designed everything the email body and then regards with my corporate guy signature and then it is going to open the outlook and see if there is the email is valid or not if not then it is going to throw an error right and then you have the option either you want to open the you know uh, outlook with the dot display command or if you simply want to send the email without opening the outlook right so this is how you can make some changes in that so i have simply copied my uh, code I'm going to back going back to the sheet and then then go to the developer tab right and then go to the visual basics simple and then you can just go to the insert and write go to the module simply paste the whole code here and if you want to test it simply go to the run command and then it is going to ask that which code you want to run so let's see uh, I already have the send email from uh, sub already here so I will just change the name send email one let's say or send email new I'm going to change the name of this uh, code so, uh, run it right and now it is going to run this code for me it will open the outlook and it will compose the email body with my signature so this is how easy it is with chat gpt when you know what you want you can simply give the commands to the chat gpt it will do the task for you right so now let's see how to uh, use this vb code and put it on a button so if you just uh, when you just uh, paste the code you can simply close it go back and i am going to create a new button for you for for, for those who don't want, know how to create a button here simply go to the insert tab and then you can create any shape uh, in which you which you uh, which you want to use as a as a uh, button here right so i have created this shape here so by default shapes are shapes right but when you right click and if you go to the assign macro it will display all the vb codes uh, which you already have and then you can pick any one of them which you want to assign to the button let's say you want to assign send email new which we have just composed press ok and now you have this button here you can simply change the text here right uh, assign task So this is my assigned task button. You can just format it as you want, as you like it. Right, so I'm going to put it in a center, right? Give it a bold and right. So this is a button ready. And if I just write another task here, task two, to give you a demonstration how this code is going to read the last uh, row, right? Description two and the due date is, uh, let's say it's on 13th of October. 
right so now you can see that if i have any task due in next six days it will also display here tasks who are due tomorrow they will also be displayed here and the status is uh, not started the criticality is uh, normal and it is assigned to a name guy named john so now it has taken the email id of the john so now if i go to the assigned task it will take the last row the newly uh, assigned task and compose an email and which you can just send to john hi john right uh, you have been assigned a new task and below are the details task name do 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 and the regards corporate guy right so this is how you can just use chat gpt to make your work easy um, automate your tasks and look cool right so that's it for today's video right and if you have any questions and if you want to download this sheet also i have just saved it uh, in a onedrive uh, in a google drive and you can download it from the description i have written the uh, I, have, I will mention i have mentioned the prompt here as well in the sheet too right and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much